Hello and welcome or welcome back. My name is Erica and in this video we're going to do some thrift shopping. So it's been quite a while since I've been to the thrift store and I've got a lot of things on my list that I need. So I thought it'd be fun in today's video to just take you along with me as a thrift. Um, we're definitely going to go to two stores, maybe three if we have time before I have to pick up my kids. Um, but on the list is, first of all, clothes for my kids. So I went through all of their stuff, pulled out all of their warm weather or cold cold weather clothes, warmer clothes, um, and they need some stuff. Like they grew a lot since last year. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. Uh, we're gonna try to DIY their Halloween costumes this year. So I'm on the hunt for two dresses. Uh, my oldest daughter wants to be, uh, what is her name? Princess Rosalina from Mario Brothers. And my youngest daughter wants to be Princess Daisy. So I got to look for dresses for them. And then uh, some Christmas type stuff for some projects that I've got coming up. And I don't know, we'll see what else. I have a list. Uh, I always have a list in my phone, just, you know, as I thrift, just different things that I'd like to get. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that. So let's go ahead and head into the first store and see what we can find. Okay, so we are now at Goodwill. The first thrift store didn't have a lot of clothes for my, well, didn't have any clothes for my kids. I got two sweaters, uh, which I needed, and I got all of, all or most of the Christmassy things that I needed for some upcoming projects. And then I got a couple of display things for my upcoming craft fairs which I mentioned in the last video, but if you didn't know, I'm going to be doing some craft fairs coming up. I actually started a second channel where I'll be documenting all of that. I will leave that linked down below. It is called The Simple Home Place Co. So if you're interested in any of that behind the scenes of business, that kind of stuff, go ahead and check out that channel. Uh, but now, like I said, I'm at Goodwill. This was really a huge win for me last time I was here in terms of clothes for my kids and for myself. Um, I actually got a pair of Lucky Brand jeans, for, which are like $100, 90 I don't know, a lot of money, and I got them for like $6. So we're going to go ahead and check this out and see what we can find.
All right, I just got back in the car. I found a decent amount of clothes for the kids. I was just looking for my phone and I'm talking to you on it. Um, my trunk is full and so I think I'm gonna cut my losses. <laughs> no losses, I'm just gonna go home. Uh, it's full because I've got a lot of like decor stuff, not really clothes. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to get them some basics. Um, I like to go to Target. But Walmart is also coming around since when I was a kid. Um, just like leggings to wear under dresses and, you know, that kind of stuff. Just basics that they need. So we might do that this weekend. But I'm happy with some of the things that we got. And I am going to run home and we'll do a quick little haul for you. Okay, I am back home from Goodwill and my local thrift store. Well, they're both local. But, um, okay, let's gonna, let's gonna, we are going to start with the clothes first and then we'll move on to like decor and all that kind of stuff. So at the thrift store, I found myself this really pretty dark red burgundy kind of wine color, if you will, sweater. It's St. John's Bay. I think I paid $4 for this maybe. So good deal on that. Um, and then I also, for me, got this quilted snap sweater thing. Um, this was half off, so I think I got it for like two something. I'm trying to get nicer clothes. I think I've talked about this before, but I'm kind of sick of wearing leggings, although I'm wearing leggings today. But I'm trying to, you know, find my style again after being home for so long and you know in the pits of being a mom and just trying to be comfortable i'm still trying to be comfortable but i want to look nicer and i've got all of these markets coming up and i need some nicer clothes so i'm excited that i found those and then i found myself one other thing this was at goodwill it's full of dog hair which is i don't know it doesn't bother me that much but definitely all these are going in the wash but i got this mickey sweatshirt for an upcoming disney trip and then I got a bunch of kids clothes. So I got my daughter a pair of these jeans. Uh, I don't know what the brand is. I don't even know if they're gonna fit her. If they don't, they'll be a little too big, but that's okay. They've got the adjustable waistband on the inside. Oh, these are Shein or Sheen. I don't know. I don't buy fast fashion type things, but I feel like if I'm thrifting them, I don't know. Is that still supporting them? I don't feel like it is, but maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, all of the kids stuff is $2.59. So the prices there are way better. I shouldn't say way better, but they're better than at my thrift store that I always go to. Then I got her a pair of Old Navy leggings, which look pretty much brand new. No stains or anything like that. Uh, for my youngest daughter, I found her a Cat and Jack sweatshirt, which I thought was cute. She doesn't need as much stuff as my older daughter does. Uh, my older daughter, again, this is Cat and Jack and like a little Christmas type long sleeve shirt, which is really cute. I found her, I went back and forth with this. She loves, you know, pretty things and dresses. This is like a crushed velvet uh, dress. It's got like bell sleeves. I think she's gonna like it, but I was kind of like back and forth on this one, but I thought it'd be really pretty, you know, getting closer to Christmas and even, you know, Valentine's Day. She'll probably wear it all the time, actually. Uh, I don't know, the brand Dream Girl, never heard of it. This is from Old Navy and it's like a little sweater dress, so cute. This is also for my older daughter. And yet another dress for her. This is Cat and Jack. Perfect fall little dress, so cute. I just love it. I'm not into dresses personally, but my girls are, and I think they're so adorable. I just feel like they don't really fit me well. I almost bought a dress at the thrift store. It was 100% linen, and it fit me really well, but I'm like, when am I ever gonna wear this? It's out of my comfort zone, but it was really cute. I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll buy a dress and wear it. Uh, and then I got this for my older daughter as well. 
obviously not for this coming season, but she had had a skirt with this exact same pattern that now we've passed down to my younger daughter. And I thought she would really like this for the summer, next summer. It'll definitely fit her. I mean, she's grown quite a bit since last year, but I think this is a pretty safe bet. So those were all the clothes that I got. I'm happy with it. Again, like I said, I think we're still going to need to go get some basics from Walmart or Target. Uh, just, you know, I, I tend to buy a little bit bigger so that we can get a couple seasons worth. Like my daughter, my oldest daughter, I think three school years or two and a half school years she got out of some of her clothes. And now we've passed them down to my youngest daughter, more of like play clothes, but still. I mean, so if we can get that longevity out of clothes and then even pass them down and they're still good quality, then I'm okay with spending a little bit more, especially on my older daughter. It's kind of not fair for my younger daughter. She gets plenty of things. But anyway, when it comes to the basics that I know we're going to wear over and over and over again, I'm okay with buying them new. And then we will just donate them. When they're all done with them, um, our school... This is a side note, but our school was asking for donations for um, just all different sizes of pants, especially, you know, kids go to the nurse and, you know, they have an accident or I don't know, something happens, they get a rip in their pants. I don't know. Um, so I actually have some, I'm going to, I wanted to see what we got in terms of clothes for my kids. And then I was going to take a bunch out of their closets that definitely don't belong there anymore, and then actually donate them to the school instead of the thrift store. I feel a little bit better about doing it to the school than the thrift store. I don't know. The thrift store, they say it's one step away from the landfill. So if you're buying stuff, obviously you're saving it from the landfill. But if I have a better place to donate things like the school, I'm definitely going to do that. But anyway, Rand over. <laughs> um, let me go get all of the decor and Christmas type stuff. Okay, so like I said, I have some projects coming up here uh, really soon actually for Christmas type things. And there were some things that I needed that I thought I would go to the thrift store first, see if I could find them and it did not disappoint today. I think I got most of what I needed. Um, and then also for displays for the upcoming craft fairs. So I have it all down here. I'm just gonna start picking it up and showing you. Uh, so the first thing I got was this crate. Now, I don't care about the Christmas stuff on here. What I cared about was the actual crate itself. This was $7.99, which is pricey, honestly. Uh, but like at Joann's, they're $10. So it's a little bit cheaper and I wanted a few more. Actually, this is smaller than the ones that I got at Joann's. But I'm thinking in terms of displays, for the craft fair, having crates is kind of what I'm thinking and some other things, but it did come with this stuff, which I really don't care about actually. But um, anyway, yeah, this crate. And then, uh, well, it doesn't matter. This is from Goodwill, just a chalkboard. This was $2.99, again, for the craft fair. Hopefully I can get this clean. Um, and then I think I'll probably paint it and just another piece of signage that I can have. I haven't figured all of that out yet. I'm kind of gathering things and thinking through how I want things to be displayed, but $2.99 uh, for a chalkboard I thought was really good. Either I can write on it or I can cut some things out with my Cricut and put that on there. I haven't decided yet. Obviously I haven't thought about it. Uh, and then I got this, uh, there was no price tag on it. So she said $2.99 or something like that. I said, yeah, I thought that was a good deal. It's just a box, but I thought either having it on the table like this so I could display things top and bottom or even like this to give it some height. Um, so yeah, I on my other channel, I think I'm gonna do a day where I like clean things up at like the crates. I'm definitely gonna have to sand down. I probably will stain them. Maybe we'll see. But that's going to be in the, well, in the next month, that'll be something on that other channel. Uh, then I got this Christmas wreath for $4.99. This is going to be for one of my projects. I know I can fluff this up and make it look a lot nicer, maybe add some bows or I don't know. Uh, but this is good. Like I said, did I say it's for a project? I'm sure I did. Um, 
But yeah, I definitely needed that. My husband, I feel like I'm bringing so much in. I need to purge. I need to start getting rid of some stuff. I have brought in more stuff in the last like year or two just with the things I'm doing for my business. Uh, it's kind of crazy. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm usually, I'm not a minimalist, but I do like to have things in my home that are for a purpose. And a purpose could be that they bring me joy and happiness. Uh, like I said, this is for a project. Um, so I don't know. I don't know yet how I feel about that. But anyway, uh, then at the thrift store, I got this display. Uh, I think it's for like a cookbook, which I can definitely use you know, in my regular life, but, uh, yeah, a display, I thought pricing or something like that setting, sitting on the table, this definitely is pretty rough. So I can make it look better or just lean into the rusticness. Actually, it almost looks like someone made it. It's not super good quality. It was $4.99 if I didn't say that, but again, another display piece. And then I showed this when I was walking through, I'm not going to take it all out, but a bunch of ribbon. Christmas ribbon. Uh, did she say $1.99 or something like that? Like, again, this didn't have a price, but I was like, okay, yeah, $1.99. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, again, it's for the project. I'll just say it, it's decorating my front door. Um, and so, yeah, all of these are for that. Uh, at Goodwill, I found this garland. The bag is absolutely disgusting. Uh, so I need to clean that up. This was $5.99. It's in the original packaging, uh, nine foot Christmas garland. Uh, so I'm excited about that. If I don't use it for the door makeover, I'm definitely going to decorate out here on our patio for Christmas. It's October, I know. But when it comes to like the blogging world and online stuff, you got to go ahead of time. So even though I'm not totally in the spirit of Christmas, it just started feeling like fall where we live. And I love fall. It's my favorite. Um, but that's just the nature of this business. So I've got to do Christmas things now in October, but it is what it is. Um, back to the thrift store. I found this tablecloth for $3.99. This is going to be for um, a new drop launch that I'm hoping to get done in the next month or two for my Etsy shop and for the craft fairs. I am sourcing secondhand fabrics to make something out of, and that's all I'll say, but um, I thought this was really pretty. It's kind of like a beigey yellow. I don't know. It just spoke to me a little bit, so I got that. And then this is for a project I'm going to be doing either on this channel, probably on this channel when it gets closer to Christmas, but also for the blog. I got a few of these little houses, they're like a Christmas village, but they're mini sized, which I'm really excited about. Um, I have a few, we collect Christmas village pieces. Um, look at this little cabin. These were all $1.99. Um, I don't know where they're from. They're like made in China, Taiwan, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited. So that's a, a I don't know how many projects I'm going to really be doing this Christmas because I'm really busy with craft fairs and stuff. Obviously I'm going to be doing some, uh, this one was $2.99, um, but it's a little, I don't think it's a church, but you put a little tea light in there. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a little project with that. But that is everything. That is my thrift haul. There you go. I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And I only shopped for like two hours. Which seems like a lot, but, you know, I like walking around and looking at everything. And sometimes I go back and look at stuff again and put stuff back. And it's a thing. I enjoyed myself. But... I got a lot of what I needed, which I'm really excited about. So I think it's pretty successful. <sighs> but anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for shopping with me, thrifting with me. And um, I always love doing these types of videos. I haven't done one in a while. So anyway, yeah. 
Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I really greatly appreciate you. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the bell notification. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Um, but yeah, I will see you next time and I hope that you have a great rest of your week. Mm -hmm.